Alrighty, we are entering the semifinals. These matches will determine the grand finale. But first, some more injustice news that I just got. Now we got confirmations of three, possibly four new playable characters. Black Adam, who looks badass, though there is an alternate balding version. Um, there's Doomsday, uh, another bruiser who I worry is a little too similar to Solomon Grandi. Um, and once again, he beats up on Shazam. Leave Shazam alone! <laughs> There's another female character now, Raven, who unfortunately is not the Teen Titans version that pretty much everybody knows and loves, but it's the adult evil version. Though, she's got a pretty damn cool special. And just recently during PAX East, people spotted an ICE logo that looks exactly like Killer Frost's logo. And later we actually see her in-game in some screenshots fighting people. So, uh, you know, Killer Frost is a less known female villain of Firestorm. So, you know, hey, even the lesser knowns need a shot. I, though I would have preferred, you know, there are so many other female that I would have preferred, like Zatanna. That's one personally that I would want. But, you know, these guys need a chance too. So that brings up our total known roster to 22, 23 if you count Killer Frost of the 24 initial characters. So we still don't know who that final slot is or if there are any hidden characters. Um, and we know that we'll be getting at least four additional uh, DLC characters uh, with a season pass that they're already gonna uh, have. I think that runs $15. So we'll see if it's worth it. But for right now, let's recap the quarterfinal results. Despite some creative trickery from the Joker, the Flash eventually just destroys him in a straight up fight, just as we predicted. And since the game doesn't show any of the events before or after the fight, Joker loses, just unable to keep up with Flash's speed. Try to keep up. Can I have this dance? Despite the funny factor, more of you voted Green Lantern to beat the hell out of Aquaman. Though I'm pretty sure Aquaman just told Green Lantern to suck it. And I'm pretty sure that's Phil Lamar voicing Aquaman. You face the might of Atlantis. Phil, no, you don't know what... You don't know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Where's the talking? I want a steady stream of talking. <laughs> of course, Batman manages to defeat Wonder Woman, even though, in my opinion, Wonder Woman could fully destroy Batman. However, it was a necessary evil to get to the final match that we've all been waiting for. Which also means that Superman was able to easily defeat Green Arrow in a show of That's force. What? Kneel before me. No. Kneel before me. No! Kneel before me. No! First off, Superman would never, ever say that! That's Zod! Come to me, Superman! If you dare, I defy you! Come! Come and kneel before Zod! Zod! Not Superman!
Superman. It stands against everything that Superman is. I don't care what the hell happens to him. He wouldn't say that, period, unless under some sort of mind control. That's why he's a superhero. I am sick and f***ing tired of people manipulating Superman into a f***ing villain for the purposes of the story and so that they could set up their Batman as the hero who could take him down. You know what? I'm s where the hell is my story where Batman was the one that loses his sh**? Think about it. Consumed with vengeance, and then it's Superman that has to got that that has to take him down. Okay, it's Batman after all that knows everyone's weaknesses. The the freaking argument that everybody uses is Batman that was the one that's closer to getting f crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, I am gonna f lose my sh if Superman is just a straight up villain for this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna save that for the review. Cause that sh pisses me off. Let's debate who would win in these next rounds instead. So Batman versus the Flash, okay? Bat Batman wins hands down. And no, it's not because he's Batman. Stop that stupid crap, okay? It's because Batman is the most popular f superhero right now. God, so annoying. You have to give good reasons, otherwise Batman loses, okay? It wouldn't seem impossible for Batman to win this, but with prep time, all he needs to do is hit the Flash once using a gadget specifically built to stop the Flash. But how will he hit him, you ask? Well, you know, you Flash fans, it's, there's no way Batman's gonna hit him. Well, there's actually already a precedent for how master tacticians can outthink and outmove Flash without being faster than him. Okay, case in point, Deathstroke, who unfortunately wasn't in this particular tournament, um, but he's actually defeated these two people in these matches. He's defeated Flash twice, in fact. Uh, once easily tripping, tripping him, uh, the other anticipating Flash's only move, pretty much impaling him on his sword uh, as Flash goes where he thought he was going to go. So if Deathstroke can outthink Flash, you can be sure as hell that Batman can. And what gadget are you saying? Well, the Tower of Babel storyline had one of Batman's villains using Batman's plans to take out each of the uh, Justice League members. And uh, Batman's plan for the Flash was actually was revealed, um, and it has to do with Wally's uh, vibrational patterns, uh, using those vib vibrational patterns against him, uh, using a, a projectile uh, shot at Flash, uh, and then when Flash tries to vibrate so that it would pass right through him, that's exactly what it was designed to do, which it then lodged into his spinal column, basically putting him into never-ending epileptic seizures at light speed. <laughs> brutal stuff, if you ask me. Brutal. That man is brutal, though Ghoul might have had something to do with it. But anyway, so next match... So that's that's Batman. Batman wins hands down vote Batman. Now, Superman versus Green Lantern. Now, many people think the Green Lantern would have a chance against Superman. Well, they're wrong. Okay, sure, the ring is magical based and is able to harm Superman, but it's also based on willpower. Who has more willpower than Superman himself? Superman would mop the floor with crowds of Green Lantern infantry. And officers, and again, we've even seen our friend Deathstroke defeat a Green Lantern. In truth, only the A-Team Lanterns could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with soups, uh, you know, people like Hal Jordan or Sinestro. And we've already seen Sinestro get his ass handed to him, haven't we? The issue with the ring-based weapon is that it's just that. It's a weapon, it's a ring. Without the ring, any Green Lantern loses the fight immediately. It's based on the speed of thought. Uh, whatever Hal can think of happens. 
But what if you're fighting someone that can move faster than you can think? Well, in one of the most unique situations, we already know. Because in the Injustice comic itself, written by Tom Taylor, the comic shows a bloodlusted Superman beating Green Lantern in less than a second by removing his ring before Green Lantern can even react. Ownage. He treated him like a child. I highly recommend these comics, uh, by the way. They're only like a buck a piece in the digital download. They've been pretty good, except for how they are freaking twisting Superman's character into a villain for the purposes of the story for a thousandth time. But I can't deny how compelling they've been and, and you know, shit is actually happening in them. So, you know, and, and it's like a prequel story, I think, leading up to the uh, the, uh, the Injustice storyline. So it's been pretty good so far. So reasons Superman and Batman win these rounds in both comic terms, and we already knew that they would win in popularity terms. So there it is. But it's up to you guys to make that final match happen. So vote Batman and Superman, the world's finest, uh, best friends, and we will have one epic discussion to end all epic discussions, to end this whole thing with, uh, when they go up against each other. So until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.